So we're going to look at some interactions of Juggernaut's Omni Slash with different abilities and items. And by far one of the biggest ones is that you can now Manta Dodge Omni Slash. And this is pretty easy to do in the later parts of the game. Uh, because the faster Juggernaut's attack speed is, the faster his Omni Slash is. So see now Juggernaut's attacking slower because I dropped the Molnir and the Moonshot, and so is his Omni Slash. Omni Slash is now based off of Juggernaut's attack speed. He gets some bonus attack speed when he's, uh, his attack time is quicker when he's in Omni Slash. But uh, what's really important as well is that it now is based on duration. I see a lot of people getting quite confused on level 1. Juggernaut used to have 3 bounces of jumping. Now it lasts 3 seconds on level 1. Then 3.25 seconds, 3.5 seconds. There's also a 1 second talent that you can get even longer. And more with an Agnum Scepter. However, when Juggernaut has slow attack speed, it's actually much harder to do the Manta Dodge. And uh, later in the game, it's really important to know that you can Manta Dodge and it is pretty easy to do as well uh, a little bit of RNG in there as well you might get lucky to Manta Dodge at times however one of the other big interactions is that you can now use Lotus Orb and this has been there for the past few patches uh, always been this way and it's still the same you take no damage during the Omni Slash however Axe can also use Omni Slash on other units that are around Juggernaut one of the other spells is uh, anti mages spell shield acts the exact same way as Lotus Orb does. Uh, one of the best items if you're a support trying to deal with Omni Slash and not dying from it is Ghost Scepter. It's the cheapest item for dealing with it and you take no damage during this area and even so much that you can blink away afterwards and Juggernaut can't do a right click. Uh, pretty substantial like usage there. However, you can also buy a Yules. The Yules is not as good. Uh, because it only lasts two and a half seconds in comparison to the four seconds of Ghost Scepter. So if we look at this, you can do that and uh, it works the exact same. And one of the interactions that you can use is that if your ally is getting Ami slashed and you want to tank some of the jumps, you can go in and use yourself beside them and take some of the jumps during that point. Now that is something that is pretty straightforward. Um, and the other item that is not very good against Juggernaut is Heaven's Halberd and the reason why is because if you use Halberd on Juggernaut just before you Omni Slash you still take damage it's the exact same thing however ha Heaven's Halberd does give you evasion and evasion now does affect uh, Juggernaut's Omni Slashes so here Juggernaut has no way of piercing evasion uh, so now Axe has a Butterfly and a Heaven Halberd he's a total of 51% evasion so pretty high and you'll see that miss 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 see the red text he's missing every single time nearly uh, pretty big thing especially if you're playing wind ranger you use wind run and dodge it now the other interaction is that if axe moves a long distance uh, he can have the omni slash potentially cancelled it's a little bit of rng but uh pudge here if i can level up hook do this again you can sometimes end omni slash when you hook your ally now this is not always foolproof and uh, it works sometimes as you see it worked there now the next interaction i want to look at is with bane's nightmare and that uh, juggernaut can actually omni slash through the sleep and do damage as well however if juggernaut has mulnir it can actually wake axe up the mulnir procs do magical damage which will wake him up so you'll see now the Mjolnir bounces and it wakes him up from the sleep. So that's a, a relatively interesting interaction. Uh, it pretty much means that Nightmare is not going to save you if you pick Bane. And Bane doesn't really do anything to Juggernaut. The other one that's really bizarre is uh, Shadow Realm from Dark Willow. So if you're playing Dark Willow, this is pretty important to know. That uh, if Juggernaut Omni slashes you, you can take the bounces. It ends up acting the same way as Ghost Scepter does. Uh, pretty much you don't take damage. So one of the other interactions that still holds the same as previously is uh, with force staff. So if you force your staff yourself up high ground and Juggernaut can lose vision of you. However, this is not foolproof and it doesn't work every time. So for example, if I get faster attack speed now and I go up high ground, a lot of the time the jumps will still follow on to the hero that gets force staff. However, stuff like uh, Pangolier's uh, first skill squash buckle you can actually dodge it pretty easily so uh, other stuff as well like faces voids jump 
any sort of ability that can move very long distances uh, will 100% guarantee that you can evade this Omni slash jumps. So I hope this video helps you against Juggernaut playing even Juggernaut himself. So make sure you subscribe for more Dota content like this.